Peace to you and yours wherever you may be. I love you. I genuinely for free. Man. Big fight last night. Big night in boxing last night. Terrence Bud Crawford defeats Showtime Sean Porter in dramatic fashion in the 10th round. And what up till then was a tight fight. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But I really want to talk about what is the most important thing that happened last night. You know, in my last video, I talked about where Canelo is. Where is he in his career, in his brand? And that Canelo is bigger than boxing. Bigger than, than the belts. And Terrence Bud Crawford is right at that cuspus. He's in a very good position. The most significant things that happened last night was Terrence Crawford announcing that he is leaving top rank in Bob Aaron. Saying definitively in front of Bob Aaron that he's moving on with his career and his direction. That Bob has not delivered to him what he wanted. But that's actually a good thing. He has an opportunity to make super fights on his own terms. What happened after that engagement? Bob Aaron, Aaron showed his frustration on his face. It was classic. The way that that man looked when he realized that Bud was off the plantation, or at least off of his plantation, was a wonderful thing. But what did he do? He was so emotional about it that when somebody asked him a basic reporter, reporter question about what does Errol Spence leaving the stadium and Errol Spence's reaction to the fight, what does that mean, you know, to the Crawford uh, Porter fight? He said, how the F do I know? He wasn't reacting to that man. He was reacting to Crawford. It was bottled up. And that was what broke the glass and let the emotion out. And then he reeled himself back in. And then he proceeds to say that a bigger fight for him is with Josh Taylor. Crawford and Josh Taylor rather than Crawford and Errol Spence. And he might be right about that. He might be right about that. Because Josh Taylor has a whole nation behind him. And these nation-to-nation -nation robberies bring a lot of money. Bring a lot of pay-per-view. But why is that so significant to Bob Aaron? Because Bob Aaron has Josh Taylor signed. So it keeps Terrence Crawford on the plantation with him. He wants to make he would have wanted to make that fight anyway because he would have owned all parts of it. But now he has to share if the fight is made, he has to share that with Crawford in a much bigger way. What's even more significant about it is that more and more fighters will begin to know their work and they will begin to say, hey, we're not signing these long multi-year deals with you, okay? If you want to make the fights, you got to make the fights in a one year or a two year. You know, make the fights, make me money. If you don't make me money, then I'm moving on. Because really, the promotion is not making the fight. The promotion is, is paying for the promotion of the fight and taking care of the fighter's financial needs while the process of making the big fights happen. That's why I call it the plantation. 
these fighters are, 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 are now at a place where they are negotiating differently. They are making different types of, of deals. They realize that they can raise the money in different types of ways, you know, in, in order to bring all of these things together. And they're being hip to how the business is put together. And that's a good thing. You know, it's a, well, it's a good thing as long as they use it to develop, at least to develop generational wealth for themselves and their families and hopefully others, you know, uh, and not just spend it all up with consumptuous spending and, and lavish lifestyles that really is just, they're just on a different plantation, but they're still on the plantation. So now, what's so significant? What, what would I do if I was in that situation? Not that you would care, but I'm going to tell you anyway. What I would do is I would probably consider the, the pay-per-view. Am I going to get bigger pay-per-view with Spence or with Josh Taylor? Now, looking at it, I believe the move is to fight Josh Taylor. But to fight Josh Taylor as a free Free, 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 free agent. And take the promotion side of the money that Bob was going to get. What he would have made off of Crawford with Crawford being on the plantation. Take all of that from Bob. Bob is still going to make plenty of good money on the Josh Taylor side. You know, and he's still going to get a piece of everything else. And Terrence Bud Crawford should should cash in on all his hard work and all his success. Once he wins that unified title from Josh Taylor to go with the with with the uh, titles that he has, then you make the Spence fight. Then it's for all the marbles. It's up to Spence to not get beaten in any fights in the meantime. You know, and to fight some porter level competition. If he doesn't make that fight, Spence is going to make that spot, that fight. Spence Taylor would be just as big as as uh, Crawford Taylor would be. You know, so he needs to make that fight first. He needs to secure his dollars. And then when he goes into the fight with Spence, well, now he done jumped up from a guy who's, you know, a millionaire to a double-digit millionaire to a triple-digit millionaire. He could probably come out of that out of that fight if he did things in that order. He could probably come out two hundred million dollars uh, plus guy if he did things in that order because he's going to do real well. On the, Josh, on the Josh Taylor fight, you know, that fight ought to do, man, that, that fight ought to do a half a million in the in the United States and, and pay-per-view, and then overseas, it ought to do, you know, probably a million, so, you know, that, that's a lot of l'argent, you know what I mean, so, uh, now, go into the dynamics of the fight. It's really a tough fight to score up until the knockdown. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of clean boxing. And Porter is not... He is a clean boxer. When I say clean boxing, I'm talking about sharp boxing skills. The laser, you know, uh, laser sharp boxing when guys you know they cut and they move and they turn the other fighter and they hit him and they don't, and don't get hit you know whereas Porter is uh, he is a slick boxer but he's awkward he's very awkward and it's like he's he's um, he's all over the place he's not all over the place he's all over the guy who he's fighting you know and so he makes the fights look ugly so, you know, I watched the Crawford fight and I went back and I watched the Errol Spence Porter fight. 
And I saw the same thing in both fights. And I really, I, but I, I really believe that Crawford will beat Spence. You know, anything can happen. But what I saw is a guy who fights long, even though he's really not long. You know, I saw a guy who can fluidly change between softball and, and, uh, and you know, and the regular, you know, right, you know, right side. Fluidly change at any point. You know, he can change in the combination. He's not backing up, resetting, and then and then and then coming in or or creating space and then changing to 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 something. He does that too, but he can change in the combination, and he fights long like a tall guy. You know, I found it interesting that Bob Arum said that it reminded him of some of the super fights back in the eighties because that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, man, this is like Hagler Hearns, but only Crawford is not really. You know, uh, he doesn't really have a height difference, you know, a significant height difference here. So, but it's just the way he fights. Another thing that I noticed is that Spence, Spence was manhandled by Porter. You know, I mean, he held his own, don't get me wrong. But Bud Crawford had the physical strength to move Porter around. Different. Totally different. But at the same time, he had the high level crisp boxing that Errol Spence has. But it looked to me like he had a little more pop. You know? I really believe between the two of them on any given day, Crawford is the better fighter. So if I was him, I would let, I would let Spence marinate. Let him shine a little bit. You know, let him get his shine on. Just throw that pot on simmer, my brother. Throw it on simmer. You know, let people know you're interested. It could be, you know, hey, boom, boom, boom. This is what's, what's right. This is what's wrong. Whatever. Keep that pot hot and cooking on low. Go make that big money. Get your politics right. You know, Canelo, politics are in full effect and Canelo's branding is in full effect it's your time bud you done got free flex it that way and I'm out